All right, Blake Tanner, in the main event of JXT Overtake, we've got Funky Flossie and Greg. Didn't Greg lose his last match in like two minutes? Look, game has made some decisions here, and I don't know, but how about we look at what's actually on the card for tonight? Our first match, we've got the JWF ECW World Tag Team titles on the line as the newly unified Ghazi and Vod K. Rule take on Falcor and Zeus. There's God. A eight-man battle royal over the top, which is, of course, uh, the winner becomes number one contender. Man, there's just a lot in that, huh? I am going to destroy my own creation because fucking Trash is gonna get it. If he loses this match, he's gone from JXT forever. I will be the one to end Trash. Oh, that's good. You you did cause this to happen. It's only right that you actually get, get rid of this Hellspawn for us. Yeah. Also, uh, Game wanted two of these. <laughs> I guess Game just wanted two ta- tag matches. Do we, um, do we just do w- pick one or? Let's just do one because tag matches okay. are long. Okay. And we also have a battle royal. Yeah, then J- Babadook versus Jeb in a JXT championship ladder match. And then Lawrence Whitney versus the War Wizard in hell in a cell. Although I'll probably edit it to be like that. But whatever, start the show! All right, in the JXT arena here for this tag team championship match and darkness has fallen across the, wow, there's a lot of fog in here. That's it, that's very fog. This does not smell like fog. Oh, God, what the, how did we afford this? <laughs> Is it the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> No, it's the Wizard of... The Wizard of God! I thought you were going to say the Wizard of Gauze. Oh, shit, that's even better. Oh. But, yes, it looks like Vodka Rule has been reborn. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb motherfucker! <laughs> you asshole! I forgot that's what I called him! <laughs> Oh my god! That was fantastic! Oh my god! And of course, I do enjoy the fact that Gazi, like the mad scientist he is, put a metal plate to replace the broken eye of Vod, but he put it over the wrong eye. Oh, so can he see? I mean, maybe, who knows, but Gazi seems proud of his work. I guess we'll find Fuck out. Gaz- Vod is so terrifying. He's a lot better than what he originally was, which was nothing. Yeah. Oh, he, he fell he's, down a little bit, but he's okay. He's been reborn. He's trying to get his new legs underneath him after being reborn through the power of God. Oh, do you think it's the best idea to have your newly reborn c- cyborg of oh, God, Gazi? <laughs> Just in his first oh, match. Yep, yeah, here they come. Our JXT Tag Team Champions. And Blake, let's not forget, this is also a match to determine who's going to be making their JWF debut tomorrow because at Cash in the Bag, the JXT Tag Team Champions will be in the Cash in the Bag match. Oh, yeah. The Falcor and Zeus, they may have a night off tomorrow. That's right, but I mean... They may have a night off, but they also may just lose their titles. <laughs> you know, that's that's important. Uh, <laughs> fuck that tableau of humanity! <laughs> I don't... It's fucking shit, Matt Hardy and Kano. <laughs> Good old Green Kane. It's Kane Luigi. <laughs> Kane Luigi. 
Luigi. Oh no, I was going straight up Kano from Mortal Kombat. Meanwhile, how do these two look like the normal team? Well, uh, you only well only you can answer that question, Scotty. Falcor looks very proud of himself. I'll give him that. It's true. He he has kind of gotten it rough over the last few weeks. Yeah. All right, hold it high, Shimmy. There we go. I mean, Blake, do you have a prediction? Because Vod and Gazi, or Vod and yeah, Gaz have been doing really well in recent weeks. You know they have, Scotty, and I'm, that makes me terrified. But I also think that you know this is a new Vod. This is an untested Vod. This is a, a th this is something that's happened. This is VOD.0. Now, Gazi is still a tiny boy, so... Oh, of course he is. He will never not be, and that's his charm. You'd think that would be something that he'd use his mad scientist powers to fix was being a tiny boy, but he's like, no, this is me. Oh, yeah, he knows He knows his branding. Man, Gazi just getting kind of... <laughs> <laughs> just fucking Falcor, you piece of shit! He's like, holy shit, Gazi! Okay, I have paid for my insolence. <laughs> okay, I see, I see, that's fine. I deserve that one. Wow, Tiny Boy really fucking him up. Tiny Boy hurting him. Oh, and here he comes, Cybervod. Cybervod, Cybervod. He's a big old green vod. Well, I mean, I think... The, oh, my God! Falcor, the fucking flying dragon himself, and now stomping on the arm. Ooh. I mean, as much as I'd like to say that, you know, fucking... Gods, the kingdom, <laughs> are coming out of this with the titles, Falcor's kind of proven me wrong. I think that Falcor... Falcor's been getting having it pretty rough over the last few weeks. He's gotten beat a lot. He's gotten beat up a lot. And he's just Oh, are you saying this is our first our first like sight of an angry Falcor? I hope so. <laughs> You're like, please for the love of a god. I actually like Falcor, so. I really like how from the front it does kind of give it like this cool replacement metal eye look for VOD, but from the side it just looks like a shitty baseball helmet. <laughs> it's like you know, he uses it to cover the big spot where my brain's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now Falcor. I, I think uh, Vod was trying to set up for like some sort of big double team with him and Gazi, but Falcor immediately cut that off in the past. Like, no, I'm a big fucking dragon. Fuck <laughs> off. You know, I hope they so show some of those vignettes of uh, Gazi working on Vod, like where he was just poking Vod's brain at one point with a stick. Yeah. No, it was straight up like a Hannibal situation. Gazi ate some of this dude's brain, and that's why he's like, we're a great tag team now, because it's like we share the same brain, because I ate mm, it. Then, mm, good brain. I think he ate the part of his brain that lets him wrestle good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think Vod ever had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> he's wrestled good like once, and that may have been a fluke. Yeah, we, uh, that was when the Babadook possessed his body. Well, I mean, Zeus really putting it to Vod K. Rule right now. Beautiful super kick! Going for that pinfall. One, two, oh, Vod barely kicking out, but Falcor, Falcor stopping Gazi off at the path as well. And gods on parade, I think, are firmly, they have. They've talked to the police, set up the parade route, because they're about to go on parade. Yeah, you know, they you really hope that they can show off some of that teamwork that's uh, taken them so far over the last, like, their title reign. But I, I think that they kind of lost that with uh, when they were trying to face these two. They didn't think that Vod and Gazi were a real tag team, something to actually be, feel threatened by, and now it's just kind of fucked them. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like... It's not hard to underestimate them. It's true. Gazi's just kind of getting back up. Don't know where he's yeah, been. Ga Tiny boy finally getting back up to the apron. And, I, I mean, at this point... Oh, wait a minute. Picking him up. Beautiful choke slam from Vod K. Rule. 
And now, is he pulling him out for a pin or for a... Yeah, there we go. Go for that pin, Vaughn. One, two. Oh, Zeus Helmet kicking out at two. Oh, man, I wasn't even worried about that one. <laughs> it just shows how you feel about him. You're like, ah, fuck it. Well, let's not forget, he may have been possessed by the Babadook, but just one K. Rule cross was enough for him to defeat the Babadook. And now, what in the world? What are they doing? Tossing him up, picking him up. Oh my god! Beautiful gut busting combination. One, two, oh, and barely kicking out at two. And let me tell you something, I'm fairly sure that back suplex, that did not help things in this situation. I think it actually might have broke up the pin, but Gazi now firmly in control on this Hellman. And now Gazi's in the match for the first time. He's coming very strong. After, uh... Well, I mean, Ga Gazi did start off the match, but wisely tug ta uh, ta tagged in Vod earlier, but... He didn't do much. It's okay. Now the pressure of the two is uh, probably just getting fucking the boots taken to him. Um, Falcor, of course, after attempting to stop the pin attempt and getting suplexed by Vod, he's just not been around. Yeah, he's on the outside route now, not looking his best. Like, you can see his little hand up on the air, like, what the please, one? Oh, kick it out. Man, Gossie's so fucking tiny. I uh, know, you know what? Maybe he was doing, like, some Ant-Man shit experiments. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's what... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, are they going for it again? Oh, that big gut buster! And now going for that pin once again on Zeus, that's two of them. What, what's that called, the, like, gut buster combination fucking code breaker thing? Oh, the fuck? <laughs> it's called... Yeah, he's... Whatever Vaughn does, he just points to the side. <laughs> um, oh, another super kick takes him down. Maybe it's like the, uh... The King's Crossing. The King's Cross Station. The King's Cross. Platform nine and three quarters. It's called Platform nine and three quarters, yes. <laughs> All right, wait, but now Zeus firmly in control. Oh, wait a minute. Putting back, wrenching on the neck. He's got him in the, in the lazy god. <laughs> Come on. Look at the face of that robotic man. Oh. And I think that might have been it. I think he may have just taken everything out of uh, out of Vod that's possibly there. Uh, if he and now oh, he could do it right now if they get this really good finisher in. There it is, the man wins. Hooray! <laughs> they just did the second one. Yep, Falcor going for that pinfall, but Gazi running in. Oh my God! Gazi's small size worked against him. For the first time in his career, the small size of Gazi worked against him as he was too short to break up that pin. I can't believe it. He just looks like he fell down a foot short. Yeah, he was so close. But unfortunately, the man witch right there was enough for the men known as Gods on Parade to retain their titles, which means, Blake, Gods on Parade are going to cash in the bag. Oh, these lovely, lovely gods. I, I never doubted them for a second. Now, never once. Especially me, you did not doubt me because I found Cold Dragon. I was a good dragon boy. My name is Falco. Hello, nice to meet you. Did you see when my hand was sticking in the ring? It was very fun. Boy, I have horns. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, the following event is scheduled for one clusterfuck and is set to occur in Birmingham, Alabama. Introducing first, he is the bearded man from the Badlands, the absolute Badlands, Scotty Moore. And in the other corner, sporting the modest 
plaid on plaid on plaid, the man with the plaid crown, the plaid is plaid on the plaid, the man who knows nothing about wrestling and everything about plaid, the late tenor. I'm sorry, was I supposed to do something there? I thought this was just you two. Oh, no, yeah, no, uh, that's Dylan. Hey, and Dylan. Then, <laughs> and we are the Fight Boys, and it's a show about professional and not-so-professional wrestling. Make sure to check us out, because when you're a Fight Boy, you're a Fight Boy for life! All right, Blake, you ready to watch my PS4 set on fire? I'm so ready for this. Can't, are we just going to, like, bullshit for a little while until we... I mean, probably... I mean, do you... It's We've already projected who we want to win. Do you have a first person to get tossed out, guess? Um, Doob Shine looks good. <laughs> yeah, do it I probably Doob Shine, Dr. Bones, Barry Borg is not in a good place. Actually, surprisingly, Chonk is not in a good place. Oh, Chonk will be fine. Well, I mean, not only that, let's not forget that Randy the Ram Robinson, who we Oh wait, good good guess, because Doob Shine is gone. Oh fuck. Old Hollywood Holcher just took that bad boy out. Now he's going after Papa Bliss. I can't believe you're doing but, this, Hollywood. Yeah, but as I was saying, uh, Randy the Ram, a lot of the men in this ring actually have some qualms with Chonk, who has viciously attacked them in previous weeks. Gone through... Chonk's gone through hell, really. Yeah, Chonk has just... He's put people through hell, if you think about it. Yep. Meanwhile, it looks like Chonk in trouble once again by Dr. Bones, which is not a sentence I thought I'd say. Extremely funny if you really think about it. Yes! Um... Meanwhile, old Hollywood, Kyle Hollywood Holcher, we're gonna have to just change the name because we're gonna keep calling him Kyle. I guess we are. That's how it is. Still going after, still going after Papa Bliss. Um... I really don't know what's gonna happen in this. I mean, I think... Oh my god! Staking his claim! He just took out it, Papa Bliss! In his, in his debut match, taking out Papa Bliss! That's his second elimination! Hollywood may, in his first match in the company, become the number one contender! Let's be honest though, Scotty. Yeah. If anybody does know the real-life Hollywood culture, that's true. That's not surprising at all. Yeah, meanwhile, Chonk... I, I honestly think this is a battle of Chonk versus Hulcher because I think that's who it's going to come down to at this, and it's just going to be a matter of who's who's less winded, which, with Chonk... I don't know. I feel like Chonk's been down more already. He's been beaten. That's right. Meanwhile, uh, old Terry Titan, without his tag team partner on the outside of the ring... And I think the, I mean, all you, all someone has to do is really kick him out, and that would be it for Terry Titan right now. And unfortunately, he's now got the beast, the beast Hollywood coming after him. <laughs> Terry better watch out. After his great performance, we can expect almost anything from Hollywood. That's right, but wait a minute. Looks like Dr. Bones and Terry Titan teaming up to take out the newcomer, and there he goes! Hollywood Holcher eliminated. By two men. Meanwhile, Chonk, Chonk, oh my <laughs> god, Chonk just fucking threw Barry Borg at Hollywood. Let's see that again. And Hollywood is mildly inconvenienced. Holly, you know Hollywood Holcher can't be happy about that. Meanwhile, Chonk is still just chonking away, staring down, and now Dr. Bones is out. Oh my god, they are now just bringing it down to the final three, which is, of course... A lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> and it's down to Terry Titan, Randy the Ram Robinson, and Chonk. And of course, Randy the Ram and Chonk, we know to have a vicious rivalry brewing between them. And who knows? I mean, well, wait a minute. Looks like, uh, I think Randy's trying to take care of Terry first. What in the world? Terry... Oh my god! Almost, almost trying to look at Chonk and say anything you can do, I can do better! Mm -hmm. As he tosses Terry out of the ring, and now, atomic drop! But, oh no, 
Chunk immediately coming back, trying for a big boot, but Randy the Ram stopping it. And Blake, I mean, I, it almost felt prophetic a few weeks ago when Chunk turned, when Chunk assaulted Randy the Ram Robinson. It's almost like they knew this was coming. It was Chunk who, during Randy's comeback, Randy the Ram, he wanted to come back, make a name for himself in JXT. He wanted to see if he still had it. And then the Chunk stopped him in his tracks. And this is Randy. This is Randy coming back, saying, I still got it. Oh, but Randy now bleeding. Randy now bleeding as Chunk tries to toss him over the top rope. And I don't know. Randy the Ram trying his best to grip onto that turnbuckle just to prevent himself. And I don't know. Oh, Randy. Randy fighting back. Ooh. Blake. The astat my favorite thing about this show is the fact that we didn't plan this, but the game was like, yeah, man. <laughs> Did sure. you see the storylines? I've got it. I figured it out. I hope you enjoy your main event. Oh, my God. And Randy, unfortunately, found himself in the worst spot possible, which was against the turnbuckles and chunk for two pay-per-views in a row has proven himself to become a number one contender to the JXT Championship. Well, this is unprecedented. This is, I, this is. The game wants Chunk so bad. <laughs> is the game, you know, this is the interesting thing. Is the game the writing team or is the game Vince McMahon? I don't know, but either way, I hate him. <laughs> but there he is, the new number one contender. The Chomp. The new number one Chomp. Hey, everybody. Captain Tibbs here, commissioner of the JWF. And I'm here today to tell you about merch.aloadofpurebs.com slash fightboys, where you can find all of your great eight merchandise for the JWF superstars that you love the most. Here we have t-shirts, tumblers, whatever you could want, you, where you can support your favorite superstars. We have things like the Blake Tanner anti-underdog shirt. We have the Captain Tibbs shirt with my beautiful face on it. Something with the JWF logo. Are you a fight boy or a fight girl? Doesn't matter, we got shirts for them both. And of course, my favorite, the Fight Boys Tumblr glass. You can put anything in it, even Captain Tibbs' special drink. Whatever you want, find it over at merch.aloadofpurebs.com and look for the Fight Boys section. All right, Blake, here we are. And it's time for me to silence the demons that I've created. I am Frankenstein. I am Frankenstein, and my monster is going crazy, and I'm about to put a stop to it. No, that's fair. You, you got the reference right, so I'll let you have that one. You know who the Franken man is. You're, you're looking good. <laughs> yeah, boy! Look at me! I'm a fucking ho I'm a returning hero to JXT! The crowd going cr like that's they're cheering right they're not booing me right oh can you not hear yeah no because only my my physical form can hear what's happening but the spiritual form that you're speaking to can't actually hear what's happening they love me right because i'm fighting trash and they all hate trash right yeah but they're loving it that's totally yeah look at them they're like scotty 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 Right. Yep, they are definitely not saying sucks after it. No! Um, it's... They're, they're, they're admiring the fucking guns yep. on this cat. Look. It's really weird, though, because you can hear them chanting, but their mouths look all messed up and glitchy. <laughs> it's, it's almost like Trash's face is superimposed onto everybody at this point. That's what it looks like to me. And speaking of trash, here he fucking comes, the asshole. Do you think he's become too powerful? He's become too powerful, and it's my job. <laughs> He's become too powerful. 
Why does he have a rocket in his hands? <laughs> it's a bottle of water! God! God, he'll hold you in, Trips! I didn't do this! Trash decided this on his own. He's become sentient. Oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> I hit my knee on my desk. <laughs> oh, he just threw the bottle of water to the crowd, and they're definitely booing. They hate the water. Oh, especially that person that caught the water and is kissing it. Yeah. What you doing, Trash? You just kind of looking out, looking at everybody? I think they love Trash too much. No, dude, they hate tr Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he doesn't have a mouth, so it's kind of impressive. <laughs> he squirted it out of his mouth. eyes. <laughs> those, were, those were tears, Blake Tanner. Tears of pain. Because he knows he's about to have to face the fucking bad boy of podcasting, Scotty Moore. Yeah, that's probably it. That's it. Yeah, Blake. You don't hear him booing him and how bad he is and a terrible wrestler boy that he is and how he's going to die. Oh, buddy, I hear all of it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to make somebody who can take his place, though. Oh, well, I mean, that's what developmentally is unstable for, is to make people better than trash. I mean, that's how we made trash, so... Man, why does this entrance work so well for Trash? It makes me very uncomfortable that it's worked so well for Trash. <laughs> it's almost a little upsetting since he won't be able to use it anymore. Yeah, never again because I'm about to whoop some wholesale ass. Get ready for it. Ding, ding, ding. And boom, baby! Neckbreaker out of the fucking box! Oh no, Trash is already... No, Trash. Trash, no! Ow! Uh, so do you get to feel everything that your body's feeling, or...? Yeah, it don't feel too good right now. He's just kind of stomping on me. And now... No, not the arm! Oh, damn it! That's the one that the SMG win. <laughs> oh, it looked like he just kind of stomped with it in a bad place. Yeah, no, it's fine, though. I'm kidding him. I'm going after... See, here's the thing, Blake. Trash is jealous of me. Yeah, take it! Because guess what? He knows tomorrow, it don't matter whether I win or lose. I'm gonna go back to the main roster. I'm gonna go back to where the people fucking love me. DDT, take it, baby. And he's jealous, he can't stand it. He's kicking him about like a bitch. So you're saying he's just mad trash. Yeah, he's mad trash, what you doing? Oh, tra Trash just having him a little breather. <laughs> it's just, Trash is gonna chill. I just slapped trash and it's the best I've ever felt in my spiritual form. <laughs> now, of course, this is also an extreme rules match, which means everything is legal. I can... Come on, me. No, body! Body, I was telling you to go... To go get, like, a chair. Go punch him with a chair. I think... I think he just hurt ch to taunt. One? Oh, damn it. Kicking out at one. Well, that doesn't matter, because I'm about to destroy him. Kick to the back. Come on, nail him with one of them patented SMGs. No! Trash! Trash, please! You know, Trash is doing pretty good. No, he's not, Blake. Wait a minute. Blake! Oh, Blake, hey, what are, That's me! It's you! Blake! You're coming! Yeah! Thank you, buddy! Beasting! Let's see, Scotty. Blake Tanner! Blake Tanner, you saved me! You know I did. I'm there for you. My, I didn't know that was going to happen, so my soul left my body really quickly. It did not Boy. feel good. Oh, no. Blake, you should have done something better. He kicked out of it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. He drop kicked me. Blake, get back in the ring. It's extreme rules. You can do whatever you want. Mm. Hey, Blake, where'd you... Um, Where'd you go? You're not even at ringside yeah, anymore. My body did just teleport back to my soul place, so I'm all I'm all here again. Oh no! I would I was damn it! I kind of thought that was all you needed. Oh no! He's trying to break my leg! No! No! Physical form! Don't tap out! Don't tap out! Physical form! Yes! Kick his ass! Oh man, that would have been really embarrassing. 
It would have been real bad. There we go. Clothesline. Yeah, keep him on the ground. Do it, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Trash just keeps... No, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it. No, now he keeps trying to make me tap out. This is extreme rules. <laughs> but I got his ass. Scotty, go get a chair. Scotty, my... My spiritual form commands you to go get a chair, please. Yeah, someone need to get some weapons up in here. Yeah. But wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, baby. Knee to the face in your trash hole. Picking him up. Is it time? Drop kick to the ground. Oh, I'm setting up for it. I'm set. Scotty. Come on, man. <laughs> it's almost Do like something. you're not in control of your actions. Wait a minute. I am now. I'm about to do it. Pick it. Oh! <laughs> ultimate disrespect! <laughs> Style trash! Go for the pin! One, two, fuck you! <laughs> yes! Yes! I did it! Fuck you, trash! See, Scotty, with our powers combined, ultimate in disrespect which is what I planned from the beginning taking him out with his own move the styles trash and Blake I think I think I'm confident going into fucking cash in the bag this is a three match weekend for me oh I'm sure it'll be fun I did just disappear <laughs> That's fine. Like you said, you went back to your corporeal form. I didn't know they'd catch it on camera. <laughs> oh, thank God we're free of this menace. Let's get another shot of it. Styles trash. Thank you, physical form. Oh, yes. Okay, just don't let it get to your ego. No, man. I just rid the JXT of a menace, and I'm gonna go on with my best friend tomorrow to defeat coach and friend, retain our titles, and then go on to cash in the bag, and like that's gonna be a great match tomorrow, but right now I just wanna celebrate the fact that I am the defeater, the ender of trash. This summer, two men save the world. From who you ask? Everything invading robo penises. This show is not about <laughs> those two men. <laughs> this show's just a load of BS. The show are Blake Tanner and Scotty Moore. Make up dumbass movies like that. We're your personal think tank. We're your two white guys which fills the quota for a <laughs> podcast i think and we're just gonna be here to have a good time and talk about sauerkraut that's right except no substitutes ladies and gentlemen because this is that pure uncut yes <laughs> good good uncut all right blake it's time for a rivalry that's been weeks in the making. Both of these men. <laughs> Why's he got a stick? It's... <laughs> Lawrence, you fucking asshole. Is this just his thing now? I guess he's the king of the Manhattan Whitney's old Lawrence Whitney here. He, he looks like he really wanted to be in Hamilton. I wish you didn't already have a theme song because I would just change it to just like They say <laughs> the war wizard is going to kick my ass and I'm gonna pray that he doesn't So, Lawrence may be an unseen threat here tonight because the war wizard's not been doing great Well, against, L oh god, that's a terrifying uh -huh. close-up Well, like, Lawrence has been doing well, like War Wizards won all of their matches except for their last, where Lawrence finally bested him in a steel cage matchup. Wait, no, War Wizard won the steel cage. But has Lawrence won anything? Not in this feud, but every other match he's had, the War Wizard has not done well. 
Well, this is, of course, not a normal map. Hey, Lawrence, man. <laughs> can, you, can you pick up the fucking pace map, buddy? He's just like, taking his time. He is like... Oh, the Undertaker has the longest wrestling entrance. He can wow, he's taking his time <laughs> with the fucking steps too, Lawrence. Okay. Oh, he just has to be the best in everything, that Lawrence. I hate him. I hate him so much. Poor Larry. Like, even the ring is like piss yellow. <laughs> Well, I like that pinky. <laughs> holding the pinky to the sky, putting his, his trusty stick down. As Lawrence R Whitney gets ready for the fight of his life because he's he's going to mm -hmm. hell, Blake. God, that just makes me wish you could set custom weapons. <laughs> yeah, he's got the stick, he just beats people with it. I guess that's- Damn it, I always forget how good his entrance is. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean... He is about to sashay away into our hearts. <laughs> After this lip sync battle, I have to say, War Wizard, sashay, you stay. <laughs> Lawrence Whitney, Shantae away. <laughs> you little bitch. Oh. I mean, the <clears throat> fact that War Wizard won a cage match against Lawrence, and this is basically an upgraded cage match, does not bode well for... Old, old LW. But see, you can't escape from Hell in a Cell. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure War Wizard escaped, right? I can't remember. We, hey guys, we do these. We don't do these well. I just, okay, I'll <laughs> call it Beckett and for it. <laughs> I, the only thing about this match is it upsets me because I'm very much like, hey game, please do something cool, like go to the top of the cage or something, even though I know the game is just gonna be like, this is a normal wrestling match, it just happens to be difficult to see. Mm-hmm. The game doesn't know it's a special match until they actually hit the walls. Yeah. Alright. There he is. The Wizard of War! And he's about to take some ecstasy, and he's just coming down on it, baby. Oh, I thought he already took it. Oh, no, it's kicking there in, it is. baby. He's, he's feeling that molly. <laughs> he just hit those whippets. Can I... Can, I know we usually try not to make female wrestlers, but can we make him a fucking female manager named Molly? I mean, it was just the biggest rave girl. I just want to say, we don't stay away from making female wrestlers for any reason. It's just... The way you said it made it sound bad. No, we do it for JWF because, like, we none of us are females, so we don't have voice actors for it. But we could technically do it for JXT, I guess. It's true. I mean, we could have our own women's Lawrence division. Lawrence has already left the ring. Lawrence is like, fuck this, I'm out, y'all. Oh, hey. <laughs> just. Oh, wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Oh. He might have been just baiting him to the outside because now he's just, oh, never mind. War Wizard coming back with some. Holy shit, War Wizard. I was about to say, oh, do you think that was Lawrence's plan? No, obviously not. He's just afraid. <sighs> the war. Why is the only person in this company that the War Wizard can beat Lawrence Whitney? Uh, my favorite thing is the fact that apparently he just like used his whole body to slam Lawrence into the cage. Oh, but wait, Lawrence now coming back, fighting, tossing him against that steel cage. What's Lawrence gonna do? Yeah, he's got thrown to the ground. I mean, this is probably the most vicious offense we've seen from Lawrence Whitney so far. This is some ruthless aggression. He's just very angry, yeah. I mean, he's not really had a solid victory. He's ran, he's uh, sat like a bitch while he got... Oh, God! Oh, that looked like it really hurt. He glitched through the steps. Yep, War Wizard... <laughs> He tried to apparate through the steps to stop it from hurting him, but Lawrence Whitney, of course, not a great apparator. Yeah. He's a lazy hey apparator. Guys, can, we get, 
Guys, can we get in the ring? <laughs> Baby, can we play? Damn it, please, someone go in the ring. I don't want to see you fight on this fucking, like, inch of, uh, inch of area. Especially for us at home, who, it's just horrible to watch. It's just some cage, and that's it. It's not even the good cage, like Nicholas. Not even... <laughs> well, not only that, you've only got, like, five moves you can do out... Well, never mind! Lawrence proving me wrong with a super kick. But yeah, there's only, like, five fucking moves you can do outside this cage. But they're like, we'll do as many as we can! Don't worry, we got you! All right, maybe, nope, still gonna throw him to the outside. You guys just kinda, you guys are aware the only way to win is in the ring, right? War Wizard, Lawrence, someone. Just, just let them do their wizard thing. It's a, something that us muggles can't understand. <laughs> okay, I understand. There we go. War Wizard, the true baby face of the rivalry, getting him back in the ring and now just stomping on the body. Have you ever seen the, um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movies. Um, yeah, man. Fucking with Ash Ketchum and all of his Pikachu antics. I was just about to say, because, you know... One, two... Okay, can't get out of two. I was like, you can't end it there, y'all. This is the end of your rivalry. How English wizards call, like, non-magical people muggles. Oh, my God. Blake! Blake! He's pulling out the brass knuckles! No! I forgot we had gave that to him. Oh, my God. Lawrence Whitney with the brass knuckles. The war wizard is out. And Lawrence just kind of stared at him. Hey, Lawrence, this is what you're supposed to... Oh, wait, now rake in the eyes. All you got to do is fucking kick him in the nuts and you got the fucking heel fucking heel trio. What? Why does Lawrence just stop when he's done something big? <laughs> I don't know, man, but he's going for that pin now. One... Two. Oh my God! The big Whitney headbutt was enough to take down the War Wizard, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is bullshit. I am flabbergasted. Yeah. I'm not sure how exactly that happened, but uh, yeah, there it is, the headbutt that ended it all. Maybe he has a steel plate in his cranium or something, but it was enough to end the rivalry. That's upsetting. Yeah, it's very upsetting, but there he is, Lawrence Whitney. You may not like it, but you better learn to love it because the fancy wizard boy is here. I don't know that I either it. I don't any of them. <laughs> I don't want. Sometimes we have to bet on ourselves. Sometimes we win. Sometimes we lose. And sometimes we go double or nothing. In Las Vegas! Join the Fight Boys the day after Double or Nothing live from Las Vegas, May 26th at 12.30 p.m. live from StarCast for our first ever live show spectacular. The time may change, who knows? Times may if you're there, you'll be there, right? Yeah. It's okay, we, we don't believe we'll be there either. All right, Blake, it's now time for the main event of the... Oh, hey, JoJo. <laughs> Wait, JoJo? You're pregnant. Yeah, JoJo's just... Hey, girl, what's up? Oh, God. JoJo's <laughs> summoned for a <laughs> Hey, kids, welcome to my Firefly Funhouse. Oh, wait. It looks like someone is... <laughs> He's kid... Fuck, that's terrifying. <laughs> Oh, someone read that bad storybook. Yeah, and he's appeared to the crowd. Only his face is illuminated, and then the cameras of the multiple children he's stalked in the night. Oh no, those are the children he's taken. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, Bob, 
he's got a mis he's got himself a fucking title shot. <laughs> good old Bob. Good old Bob. Bob A. Duke. This is his full name. <laughs> that is horrifying. Do you think that was what his intention was when he attacked Chonk so many months ago? Was the fact that if anybody was going to take the title away from his son, it was going to be him? Well, you know, that's going to be a strange dichotomy because if the Babadook wins tonight, becomes our JXT champion, then his first opponent will be Chonk. Well, not first. Because, of course, whoever, once again, much like the JXT Tag Champs, whoever comes out of this as champion, goes on to cash in the bag. He's going to be in the ladder match, which this match is going to be a, a, uh, give him some advantage because this is also a ladder match. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It's just... He's <laughs> I love that Jeb carries his own thing to the, to the ring. <laughs> Jeb's just got his own deal. He's got his... He's got his poking stick in his skull, his skull vape. Say, Dad, you got your lantern, that's fine, I got a skull. <laughs> My shit's cooler, Dad. Dad, you ain't got a skull, Dad. <laughs> that's not my skull. I got a weird tomahawk. <laughs> But of course, look, hanging high above Jeb, the JXT Championship, who the winner of this match, they must climb and retrieve it. No pinfall, no submission. You gotta beat them up so bad that you can climb a ladder. It's of course, it was originally discussed as a top hat versus top hat match, but no one knew how that would work. God, that would have been great. Oh, and there he is. Look at Babadook and Jeb, both of them, looking focused and ready. And oh my god! <laughs> Jeb went for the crossbody and Bob just kicked him out of midair, picks him up, and oh my god, Babadook is firmly in control starting off, and that does not mean good things for the JXT Championship. This just brings up a, a lot of questions. Do you think the Babadook was using his true power against his son in this rivalry? I think, well, I mean, as we saw last week on JXT Wrestling, he apparently provided the full... Okay, never mind. Jeb's there, baby. Jeb with that clothesline. <laughs> but uh, Bo Bob's provided his full power to Vod K. Rule, who, of course, went on to defeat the Jebaduk in that match. So maybe maybe he's at full power tonight, and that may not mean good things for the title. It's true. We very obviously saw that Vod K. Rule was not at full power tonight. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, he had to deal with the tiny boy, so. Hey, Blake. They're as tall as the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so of course they are. <laughs> because, yeah. Because, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> These two. They're just basically demon Abraham Lincolns, right? Yeah, yes, exactly. That's how they were created. Meanwhile, Jeb was trying to get the ladder into the ring. Oh my! Okay, hold on. I want to break down because I have no idea what the fuck just happened there. Yeah, just reverse that for a sec. Yeah, hold on. Here's a Jeb doing the right thing, bringing the ladder in the ring. Bob throwing. They, does he just kind of phase through him? It's... Does Bob a duck become like incorporeal for a moment and then? This is a duck match, so. Yeah! Yeah, that's what it is! Boba Duke goes spectral! <laughs> he just projected himself. Yes! <laughs> and Boba Duke don't... I mean, Boba Duke can't be happy about that. He just got projected through. Oh, my but God. But now Jabba Duke showing him what's what, slamming him down onto the ladder. And I mean, at this point, do you even think it's wise to even do anything with a ladder? Because Bob's is clearly not strong enough, or still too strong to even try climbing. Oh yeah, Jeb's got to work on that weakening game. I'm also just realizing how happy I am that this game realizes who the supernatural characters are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Looks like Bob, I thought he was going to roll to the outside, but no, Jeb. Oh, wait. Jeb was going to try to climb, but instead going after his dad. But his dad fighting back. But Jeb's got to pull out something big. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Duke the Duke World. Roll onto the bottom rung of the ladder. 
Jeb is at the top. His father's not moving. Claim your title. Make your father <laughs> mad, not proud, whatever. Make your father famous. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, though. Now both of them, we've got them both on top of the ladder. Oh my God, he's sucking the soul out. But Jeb, no! <laughs> oh, Jeb. Jeb and I Duck. And Duck. Bob and Duck's got it. Jeb, come on, boy. Make it back to your feet before your father ends your reign. Jeb has unhooked so many pins. Jeb, hurry. Yes, Jeb. Yes, Jeb. No, no. Oh god, oh god, he's trying to choke the life out of him once again. Him fighting back, it's the same thing that literally just happened a minute ago. <laughs> that Jeb, means he's gonna get up. No! Right. That means he's gonna get up right. Come on, Jeb. No, I don't think so. Oh, he's making his way up! He's making his way up! Go, Jeb! Go, Jeb! <laughs> if this happens a third Cease time. Victory! Cease victory! Yes! He's knocked him down! He's got the title! Jeb Duck! Jeb Duck! Come on! Before the Baba Duck can make it up! You struggling, buddy? <laughs> you good, Jeb? You can't unhook. Yes! <laughs> that was nothing! After getting knocked from the ladder twice by his father, the Jeb Duck! The Jeb Duck! Once again climbs and retains his title. This is fantastic storytelling with very little time. <laughs> yeah. We're like, look, guys, the show's almost over. We, we're running out of time. We're going to need you to. Oh, man, that I'm so proud of him. Just that shot. Just the shot of him on that ladder. The crowd going crazy. I'm so proud of the Jebba Duck, Blake. <sighs> also, Papa Bliss is somehow enemies with Baba Duck, and I don't know why. I can't remember. That's not who I care about. I care about this man. The man who's going to go to Cash in the Bag. The man who could very well become Mr. Cash in the Bag. Because obviously he's good at winning ladder matches. Uh-huh. He's able to get back up from a lot. That's right. So, I mean, I guess if you want to see more of the Jebaduck, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to watch tomorrow at Cash in the Bag to see if he can possibly win two ladder matches in the same weekend. I'm so glad that he won. It's so good. I mean, I, he may have just banished the Baba Duck to hell. Who knows? But in order to find out what happens next, you're gonna have to tune in next time to JXT Pro Wrestling.